today we're going to look at finding a percent. When you see a question such as 25% of 167, we can always think of the word of as multiplication. Okay, our first step is going to be to change this 25% to a decimal. So to do that, we are either going to move the decimal to the left two places, or if you wanted to put it into your calculator, you would always divide by 100. So 25 divided by 100 equals 0 decimal 25. So we could write this as 0 decimal 25. We know of is multiplication, so times 167. And now we can just punch that in. So let's clear this. Decimal 25 times 167 equals 41.75. So this is 41.75. So this means 25% of 167 is 41.75. Let's try another. 10% of 29.99. So you can think of buying um, an item at a store that's 29.99 and it's 10% off. So you want to know how much is 10% of $29.99? Well, our first step is to convert this to a decimal. So we're going to move the decimal to the left two spots, just like dividing by 100. So we're left with 0 0.10. The word of means multiply. And we have $29.99. If you wanted to put this into your calculator, you would have decimal 10 times 29.99 is going to give us 2.99. Since we're dealing with dollars, we can round this to two decimal places. So it's going to round to $3 even. So this means that $29.99 item at the store that is now 10% off, they're giving you a discount of $3. Say we had a question like this, 15% is what percentage of 100? Well, I know that this percentage, let's call it x, times, because it says of, 100 is going to give me 15. Okay, so I need to find that x. x is the percentage, just means it's the number x divided by 100. So that's going to be multiplied by 100 equals 15. x over 100 times 100, we can multiply these together. So we have 100x over 100 equals 15. And these two cancel out, we're left with x equals 15. That's kind of a coincidence. So 15 is actually 15% of 100. Let's try another one. 5 is a certain percentage of 50. So we know if we call the percentage x, well, let's call it n this time. n percentage of 50, of always means times, it's going to give us 5. So we need to solve for n. Well, n is a percentage, just means n over 100. So percentage means per 100 times 50 equals 5. Since we have a fraction here, n over 100 times 50, we can just multiply 50 by n and put it over 100 equals 5. We want to solve by n, so we want to get that by itself. To do that, we're going to multiply both sides by 100. So we're going to multiply this side by 100 we're going to multiply this side by 100. What we're going to end up with is these two 100s cancelling out. So we'll have 50n equals 500. Now we still want to get n by itself. So what we can do is divide each side by 50. Okay, what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. 
Now my 50s are going to cancel out. I'm going to be left with n. And I have 500 divided by 50. So if you didn't know, you could just put 500 divided by 50. And that is going to equal 10. So 5 is actually 10% of 50. If you had a question such as 12 is 15% of blank, well, I know that 15% of means times of my number, we'll call it n, is going to give me 12. 15%, if we write that as a decimal, it's 0 0.15 n equals 12. I want to get n by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 0 0.15. And if I do that on this side, they're going to cancel out. I'm left with n. On my other side, I have 12 divided by 0.15. And that gives me 80. So 12 is actually 15% of 80. What about this one? 34 is 20% of blank. Well. 20% of, means multiply, my number, we'll call it n, gives me 34. 20% can be written as 0 decimal to 0 times n equals 34. If I go ahead and divide each side by 0 decimal to 0, that's going to give me n by itself. So these two cancel out, we're left with n, and now we just have to figure out what 34 divided by 0.2, and that's 170. So 20% 20 of 170 is 34. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.